In this tutorial, I want to look at how to make custom SVG files for either EasySketch Pro or VideoScribe using Inkscape. Now, Inkscape is a free program available for both the PC and the Mac, and I'm not going to cover how to install it. It is a little bit more challenging on the Macintosh, but it's still uh, freely available, and you should be able to find tutorials and everything to get it installed. Once you've got it installed, um, you're going to want to, like I said, you know, this is the, under the assumption that you want to create something unique to your product or or whatever you're going to try to do a sales video on or an easy sketch or a video scribe. And so let's go ahead and just take a look. I've started here. I've in, imported a few things already. I've got the stick man here and I've got an arrow. And what I was thinking about doing was has basically kind of, you know, a concept where I'm talking about how to use Facebook uh, to make money. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, what we want to do is we want to grab uh, this. We're going to take advantage of the PNG files. And... Um, you can open files, but you want to import if you're going to combine them into one file. And that way you can get them. If you open, it will create a new document inside of Inkscape. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I've got, you can see, I've, I've downloaded the large ping files on my desktop. So I'm going to go to the business icons here. And I might have to double click to get in. And then I'm going to go down. I think what I'm looking for is somewhere in the, in the 24 or something like that. Let me go down here. Um, I'm looking for the money. Let's see. Uh, there we go. So there, there's. I'm going to go ahead and grab that one, and I'm going to import. Now I want to go ahead and have links selected, not embed. And I'm going to do that. And the first thing I'm going to do here, while it's uh, just it's big and and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and I want to choose path and do trace bitmap. And you can see that um, I've already done this, and so the settings are going to be different. I believe it's going to have brightness cut off or something like that. What you want is to be have it set to colors, uh, turn off smooth, and then have this. This is going to be checked. This will default to eight, and you want to change that to two. Um, if you leave it at eight, what's going to happen is it's going to draw around the outline several times instead of only once. Um, for some reason, two works uh, as you know just one draw around the uh, the shape instead of two, uh, whatever. So be it. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and hit OK, and you'll see that this does not go away. But what you're looking for is in the preview area, and you now see that icon. And once you do see that, you can hit and close that. And what you'll need to do is move the copy that has just been created. That's basically a traced version and go and delete the uh, original bitmap. And now you can size this according to um, your, you know, it's, it, you can, it's, it's, it can be sized um, because it's now a vector. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hold down the control key and that's gonna constrain the size. I'm gonna move that right here. And the next thing I wanna do is I wanna get a social icon here. So I'm gonna go to file import again and I'm going to come here, and the social icons are kind of down here. Here we go, module 13. And I'm looking for Facebook. Um, I can't remember which one. Uh, by the way, there are preview uh, images here. Let's see, I think they're, um, they're not shown in this particular one. But there are labeled files inside of the uh, modules now. If you don't see those, you can uh, go ahead and delete what you have. And Oh, they're in, I'm sorry, they're in the SVG files. So you'll want to grab those in the SVG files. And that'll give you, you know, they, they have a label as to what goes, uh, what name is which one. And so what I'm looking for is a Facebook one. Of course, I'm probably skipping it, but um, I, 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 go, I always go in the wrong direction. I, I've been using the Mac forever. Here we go. Let's take this one. There's a Facebook. I want to, again, I want to have it linked, and then I want to hit OK. And I want to trace this right away first. So I'm going to go to here, trace bitmap. Once again, colors, it's going to default once you've got it right the first time. It'll default to it. The process will go faster. I'm, I'm looking again to see that Facebook shows in there. Um, and now I can move that, delete it, and again, hold down the control key to size it. I'm double clicking on it to get these little um, bounding box, little resizing thingies. And um, a technical term there. And so now I've got this in position, and so this is roughly kind of the design I was thinking, you know, um, I'm pointing to this process of, of um, making Facebook. You know, obviously your design would be different. And so now we have one more step to the process, and I haven't done this to any of them yet, because I just wanted to go ahead and show you. So next thing we do need to do is we need to go ahead and group. And group. So 
we need to not have, um, I don't know if that needed to be deleted, but I'm going to, I went ahead and deleted it. Um, each one of these needs to be ungrouped because if they're grouped, they're just not going to work, especially in um, inks. Uh, easy. Uh, gosh, I can't think of it all of a sudden. <laughs> As I'm trying to do this at the same time I'm, I'm talking, Easy Sketch Pro. Uh, so now let me go ahead and select this last one, and we want to ungroup that as well. And now we're ready to go. So now I'm going to, uh, looks like I got an extra shape there, so I'll get rid of that. And so I'm going to go ahead and export now. I'm going to save as. This is a critical step, of course. Now you want to have optimized SVG. There is a bunch of different options here, but you're looking for optimized SVG. And I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to do, um, you know, well, test is fine. Test SVG. I'm going to save that. I think I already have one, and so it might override it, but maybe it doesn't. Now, it's going to look different than this. You're going to, I think it usually has the, initially it has a embed, embed raster selected. And enable ID stripping is not selected. So you want to change it to this. You want these first four options selected. And the last four options not selected. I set, set precision seems to be the correct one. And in debt seems to be right. So these are the options that you want. So go ahead and change them to that. And then hit OK. And now what we want to do is now we've got a little bit of a funkiness going on. I'll show you right now inside of EasyScape, Easy Sketch Pro. What happens if we use this? It will work, but it has some bounding boxes. And I'll, we're going to look at, I'm going to show you first what we, we're going to have to fix, and then we'll fix it. So I'm going to double click on this, and I'm going to come up here. I'm going to get these little handles, and we'll size that down to fit the screen a little bit better. And then let's go ahead and play. You'll see that. This actually might work fine. It actually does. Um, so, but there's a, sometimes a bounding box that that'll appear inside of here, and when it does, uh, you need to edit it with text editor. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this video, and I'm going to create a sample so you can see the problem. Okay, guys. So here's a, what I was trying to show you. Uh, I've replaced the um, the Facebook icon with the Yahoo icon, real quick, and. You can see that there's actually a little bit of an outline here, and when I play it, you'll see that a funky kind of border appears, and we don't want that. So let me show you how you can fix that. It's um, kind of a bummer that you, you need to do this. Um, you can, if you saw when I was editing the file inside of Inkscape before, I was deleting those extra boxes, and that probably takes care of it. But if it doesn't, this is what you want to do. So um, you want to get a text editor, and I'm going to go ahead and use a text edit inside of uh, the Macintosh and so you might use um, notepad in uh, if you're on a PC and now basically is you if you if you didn't know this um, SVG files are just data files and so what we're looking for are these path files right here these path lines and um, most of the path lines as you'll see are really really long they really really kind of got a lot of information and that's an indication that you're looking at a, a, a graphic because it's got a lot of detail and this is basically telling it to go to the various points and uh, obviously these programs are just going around and they're and what they're doing is they're following these little dots and everything what we're looking for are paths that aren't very long and here's two of them right here and you can see that there's a path and it has only a few dots and there's a path and it only has a few dots that's an indication that we're looking at a box because it doesn't have all this, you know, much more complex stuff. And so while it's kind of tedious that we do need to go in here and do something like this, if you, if you run into this problem, this is the solution. I'm just going to go ahead and zap those. I'm going to re remove the space there, and I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to go back into Easy Sketch Pro now and get this bigger. It's, it's come over the new document, and I don't want to save that. And now we'll import that. And do that second one there. And done. We'll delete that. I mean, we'll, we'll double click into it. Don't want to delete. And you can see already that it's not there anymore. There's no box. And if I play that, now it's going to draw that really cool. And there's not going to be an extra tedious box there. So, so this is how you can really get a lot out of hand-drawn whiteboard mega bundle and all the assets there because you can create your own slides to fit whatever you want. You can use the awesome free program Inkscape and then create your own SVG files to create your own slides for EasySketch Pro or VideoScribe.